Has your endodontist or general dentist diagnosed you with resorption? Resorption means that your tooth structure is dissolving. While cases of resorption are rare, endodontists are specially trained to treat this disease, increasing the likelihood that you can save your tooth. One type of resorption is external cervical resorption, which affects the area where your tooth meets your gum. This type of resorption is commonly caused by dental trauma, past orthodontic treatment, or internal tooth whitening. Sometimes the cause is unknown. If caught early enough, this type of resorption may be treated with a surgical procedure, root canal therapy, or potentially both. Another type of resorption is internal resorption. That's where the pink area, which holds the tooth's nerves and blood vessels, gets enlarged and dissolves the tooth from the inside out. It's often caused by a dental infection or dental trauma. Internal resorption can be treated with a root canal, but if the problem is left alone, the tooth may have to be removed. Finally, there is external or apical resorption. In this case, the tooth's roots begin to dissolve. This is a normal process when baby teeth are replaced with adult teeth. But when external resorption occurs in an adult tooth, it is a problem. This type of resorption is often caused by an abscess and can be treated with root canal therapy. If left untreated, the tooth could be lost. Once resorption is identified through radiographs and 3D imaging, your endodontist can provide treatment options. Many times, resorption can be treated with a root canal procedure. Remember, resorption sometimes happens for no reason at all, not something you've done wrong. Still, it's important to have regular dental visits and x-rays to monitor the health of your teeth so you can keep a beautiful, healthy smile.